Good morning, everybody. Crypto Strang here. This morning, we're going to talk about these Mimi coins. I've already spoke, spoken before about the distaste from, should we say, they're not good for crypto. They're really not. Um, they don't really serve a huge purpose. They just get a massive community team behind them and everyone gets jumps on it and everyone talks about how much money they're making. So people FOMO in, they make huge profits and people announce that. But these won't be around forever. A lot of these will just crash and burn. However, I've sort of took a different stance to it where I'm actually going to buy myself a bag of each ones which have got huge communities, like absolutely massive, take some profits once they've literally 5, 10x, probably 10x. Once they've 10x, I take profits, never get them again. Now, this all crypto is extremely high risk, as you know. These are even the even further massive high risk. They're the highest risk you can probably do. You know, these Mimi coins, I say, that you know, they don't really say, as I say, they've really got that huge purpose to them. Although I have seen the rumors that Shib, for instance, there's a restaurant in France will now accept payments. AMC theaters are talking about accepting payments in Shib. So as they get big, it's probably because Shib has climbed up the market so much and all the talk about it, projects, you know. Other ones might get involved and get some actual payment systems, but really, for instance, that restaurant in France has it announced ship as a payment to get it in the news. You know, that's probably being a bit cynical, but these Mimi coins, I say, are very, very high risk, and now there's hundreds of them, literally. So it's entirely up to you. It's, God, this is definitely not financial advice. This is merely me getting into something at the moment. It's got a lot of hype purely to make some decent profits. They may go on. Maybe, you know, one day you may see that one cent ship. I personally very much doubt it. We never know. Some of them might have because of the communities they've got may keep going and maybe around for a couple of years and actually make some progress with their roadmap. However, but me, I'm very sceptical about these, but here we're for some of the real solid projects we speak about all the time, but also we need to, you know, look at these projects because there is profit potential. But I say, none of the coins I'm going to mention is financial advice. So you really have to make your own mind up if you want to take this very, very high risk strategy of getting in some of these me me coins so i've bought little bits um last sort of couple of weeks um i've also been lucky enough on gate i've got people who've bought it i'll get a referral bonus and i'll get some of the what they got get as a bonus so i've already had some like sheep some akita which we'll talk about in a minute um so there's many others so all the projects we're going to talk about in a minute. I'm just going to go through some of the news. You've got it on here on Coin Telegraph. Mimi Coin Mania triggers triple digit gains from Binance Smart Chain based altcoins. It's got their Hodge, Ars, and Taboo, the three Binance Smart Chain based projects that have seen triple digit rallies after traders rotation to Mimi Coins. It states here this week's surge in popular Mimi Coins such as Sheeb and Dogecoin. Now, we spoke about Doge before, haven't we? It was quite as a joke years ago it's called Dogcoin. Just a pure joke. Two guys in a garage. They renamed it Doge. Since then, the market's gone absolutely huge. They've obviously done very, very well out of it. And it's gone on from there. But Doge was sort of the one, was, was the joke coin. But now, then we've got the many others now have jumped on it and seen the potential if you get a decent community behind it. It goes through there, different ones, all the ones. You know, look at this Australian Safe Shepherd arse. It's a community Mimi token that got its start as a fork of the popular Safe Moon project. You know, I don't own any arse, you know, literally. As part of the token design, 5% of each trade conducted on PancakeSwap is locked in a liquidity pool to ensure there's always sufficient liquidity. An additional 5% redistribute to all arse token holders. That's the sort of thing you're dealing with, okay? So all over the news, I've even seen it now on mainstream news. I even see it on CNN, they'll talk about Sheeb. Now, what you do is if you go on CoinMarketCap, you can actually see the top MEMS tokens by market capitalization. So you've got here, this is like the bottom end. Look at this, literally like these, you know, if they don't know the market caps, they're like 5,000. Look at these, absolutely hundreds of them. Okay, absolutely. But anyway, you go back to the first page, you can see there, we, it's crazy. We spoke about before in Dogecoin got in the top 10, that wasn't good for crypto. But now we've got Sheeb. Shiba Inu is now number nine. It's actually overtaken Doge with a market cap, 35 billion. Okay, the last seven days up 62%. And I've read on the news where basically, yeah, in hindsight, I think if you'd have put in like a thousand dollars last year, um, you'd been close to a million dollars now, which actually really is madness. But you can see their Doge coins. So we've actually got two in the top 10. Dodger on Mars, Elon, 101, same oh, YED coin, Samo, 243. You can see there the market caps on these. You know, 
It's absolutely incredible. Look at all these. You know, to think we've actually got $70 billion now to type in Doge and Sheeb just speaks volumes where we could go with these Mimi coins, okay? Now, if you go also on CoinMarketCap, what are the most viewed cryptocurrencies on CoinMarketCap? You can see number one is Catgirl. You know, you can see there, uh, last 30 days, that's gone up 16,000%. You know, you scroll through all these different all these projects, you know, Sheeb there. So you can actually see Sheeb in the last month's gone up 783%. Look at this one, richquack.com, up 1,551%. Um, there's many of these Mimi coins on here. Dodge on Mars, this one I'm just going to talk about shortly, is actually up 3,700% in 30 days. Okay, and this is why you've got all these others. It can go on and on, basically. Even look at one, Baby Dodge Coin. You know, it's up nearly 400% in 30 days. So that's why... When you've sort of got this going on, it's, I'm just going to get in, get in, get out, basically, make some profits. They may go long term, but I very much doubt it. But you've also got here, look at this, get away from Mimi Coins just very, very briefly. It's here, Squid Game. Obviously, a lot of hype on the Netflix series. Um, I watched a bit of it once, wasn't for me. But what they've done now with the game, actual online games, you can actually get the Squid Token. That was one cent, literally, on the 26th of October. Here we are today, 31st, nearly $34. However, I've since found out that you can't actually exchange the token. So that's purely a pump and dump at the moment, and we've got to be very careful of that. But anything goes from one cent to nearly $34 in a week is absolutely crazy. So you can see there the most viewed on coin market up are leaning to the very low cap, the Mimi coins, NFT tokens coins there's so much hype around these at the moment and gaming nft mimi but i think mimi i really like me nft and gaming obviously but mimi ones i'm always stay away from but i'm really just get involved to take some profits okay now you even saw this article on city am which is a sort of a london based online news website it's got there london transport hit by aggressive market assault from crypto mimi coin floki even got on the buses i've even seen it on the underground advertising miss doge get floki you know Actually, to see that on London buses is incredible. You know, it really, truly is. To keep the momentum moving, Floki News sold in the market with very targeted, aggressive marketing campaigns. The coins promoters wrote on Medium last month. These advertising campaigns will run together and be full out assault of the London public transport system. You can see there. There it is on the underground. See it? Absolutely incredible. That must be cost them a fortune. Transport for London will be keen to benefit new advertising campaigns on its network as foot, footfall increases after suffering a record 100 million plunge in advertising revenue. So they've got, I don't know if they've got a discounted rate or whatever, but yeah, TFL's been struggling through the pandemic. So again, I think that's just incredible to see what Floki are doing. It truly is. Now, one, basically, all these projects, I say, I don't know, I've mentioned already, are very high risk. However, I've got this one here, Saitama. Currently ranked 2,723, they're not sure of the market cap, however they think it's over 3 billion already. Okay, it's absolutely incredible. And you can see there, the, the circuit supply is obviously billions and billions, literally. So, Setama, I'm basically, I'll be completely honest and transparent, I've just, I've, I haven't put in a huge amount, I've just put in £100 on each project. Okay, and that's it. I don't want to risk anymore, it's very high risk. As I say, I don't believe in these projects, but I'm merely here just to take profits. I'm just being a mercenary, let's be honest, with these Mimi coins. Okay, and it's got on the same R, say, Tama token, and it's got there, a token had a fair launch on the RC20 network on 31st of May. It talks there about deflationary currency, an additional 2% of the amount of all transactions taken out of circulation. I mean, their token supply is constantly shrinking and making your, say, Tama increase in value with time. We've already started with 49% of the supply burn. 2% of every transaction with Saitama is deducted and redistributed to our pool of holders. Okay, so you can see uh, momentum goes. Now also, I should have mentioned this. What, what I do like is we go on here at the top here and you can see here the watch list, the people who are interested. 98,132 watch lists. Okay, so that's quite important to see. But also you've got the roadmap here. Now, and I appreciate it's only Mimi tokens, so the roadmap probably take with a pinch of salt, but you can actually see their plans, okay? But this when when a bit away, I actually did like this, the fact they're bringing out an NFT platform, a DeFi wallet, and a marketplace. So I'm not, I'm not dissing these projects because they are such high risk, but when you look at some of them, and the reason I've gone with these ones is something I can actually see some potential there, okay? Too easily 10x. That's in my personal opinion to say, 
It's entirely up to you. Now, another one is Dodge Long Miles, Elon. Again, but this one has got 260,252 watch list and this is currently just broken to the top 100 mark cap is just over a billion so just a third of say tama okay so you can see there the market was one billion when say tama once it gets its mark um market cap finalized could smash into the top 100 then it's really visual to everyone that's why i'm thinking say tama has a lot of potential there but again will time will tell um when you go on there the dojalonemars.com, 50% of the token supply was donated to Vitalik Buterin of Ethereum as a gesture of peace, who then later gifted his tokens to charity. It also got 50% of the token supply was permanently locked in the Uniswap liquidity pool. So there's a bit of clarification there, but again, it's doing well. The fact it's in the top 100, isn't it? Another one that it does look relatively good for long term, perhaps. But again, you can see the price volatility on the screen from the low of the last 24 hours. It's quite a lot, ranked 2,717. The market, they think, is basically about 600 million. Still a hell of a lot. But again, the watch list, 187,652. So a lot of people are keeping their eye on Kishu Inu. Okay, and it's got here a little mean big dream. <laughs> Kishu Inu is a community-focused, decentralized cryptocurrency with instant rules thanks to active users. And it's got all their instant usage rules for every active user transaction a two percent key reward is granted to holders decentralized wallets only fostering a healthy distributed network and community usage okay so that's what key shoot is again it's just how it goes another one is a key to inu a key to the five letter code Hundred eighteen thousand what on watch list so again just another one it's been around quite a while um, you can see that the price has sort of gone quite a bit down lately, but when you scroll on the actual site, it's got all the different information there. It's got the latest news, and Gita governments will be available on Polar Fox. Uh, it's just, it's just quite, it's just again, it's got a huge community. So, as I say, we might revisit this, but as I say, I'm purely just taking some profits on this when they basically ten x. So just scroll through them again. You can see there, Sitama, okay. When that market cap is actually confirmed, that could really give it a lot of visualness when it goes on to the top 100. Dodge on Mars, Elon, you know, market a billion. So again, top 100, that's obviously going to continue to do well. A lot of potential. Kishu Inu, um, K-I-S-H-U, again, amount of watch list is, is very good. It has a lot of potential there to continue to grow. And Akita. Now, what I've done, as I show you, you can get all these on Gate, which is probably my, one of my favourite exchanges nowadays, because it basically anything I want, especially these low-cap NFT gaming tokens, I can get them on Gate. Nearly most of them are on there. It's very rare something's not on Gate, and I love the um, exchange. Fees are really good. It's very easy to withdraw, just get started, I just find the trading very easy. I know I've done a dedicated video literally last week, and I really do like Gate. So I've still got that special referral link, so if you want to get these Mimi tokens, all the NFT gaming, all the any sort of cryptos really. The list is endless on Gate.io. You can see on the screen commission rebate ratio. So basically, me I get is the the most I can get is ten percent. So basically, what you go down here, you can actually see. So you get thirty percent. Change commission share ratio applies to new referrals only. So this has been going on for quite a while. So look, most minimum I can give this sort of self is ten percent. Um. I could actually do that. Look how bad would that be if I had kept all the 40% and kept the people I'm right now, 0%. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. So 10, I can't give myself zero. So my share is 10%. People you invited share 30%. So that's a very, I'm not sure what other people do when we join up with a gate referral link, but I think that's very fair, to be honest. If you're joining my referral link, the referral link is below. It's entirely up to you. Um, makes it really fair. So my share is 10%. People you invite share 30%. So as you join me, help. On gate.io, so I've done that dedicated video, but as I say, got a lot of time on my hands at the moment, self isolating, so please don't hesitate to reach out. Got, come join us on the Telegram group, my personal Telegram, all my social media. Don't hesitate to reach out, help any way I can. Have a wonderful Sunday. Weather here in the UK is absolutely dreadful, chucking down the rain, but I'm self isolating, so I can't go anywhere anyway. So, anyway, <laughs> have a great day. Cheers now. Bye.